guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. And we have a couple of upgrades to talk about, plus also some potential improvements within those updates based on my opinion. So we're going to be breaking down all of these updates and let's see how they did. Okay, so let's uh, pause a bit for some comments and my suggestions for this one. So certain obstacles actually can now be used for cover. Hide and crouch is added to the game. Plus you can shoot and use your skills based on the cover system that they implemented. Okay, so potential. What are the potential add-ons if I may suggest would be bonuses for the cover if you go through this cover, will you get bonuses? Also, when you use this cover, will it trigger additional skills that wasn't available if you're not undercover? So those are things that I think is also going to be important moving forward. How are they going to be improving the cover system now that we have a very good cover system in place? Okay, so for the base system, they're going to be using a affinity system, which are, you know, are revolves around trust. So assuming that uh, as you build trust, they gain more stats, probably that's it. Also, um, the base system will trigger random events as you talk to your individual characters. Also, you could also give them gifts if you choose to do so. So around the base system, um, there's a lot of potential in the base system. One is also being able to decorate the room, being able to get bonuses and buffs because of the decorations that you put in place. Obviously, they will be purchased um, somewhere along the game. They might give us rewards for the decorations if they put in these things. Okay, next is also the possibility of mini games happening within the base system. So probably a new game mode aside from the third person shooter. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but hopefully they could create this to kind of have a break in the monotony. Obviously, these new systems will involve rewards. So more or less, this will be a good break to the third uh, person shooter that they are doing right now. Also, the base system, if I may suggest, also has the potential for a task system. So within the base, you assign them through tasks. They probably gain a specific item for the task or there will be bonuses or, you know, there are a lot of you know rewards based on the task system. So they could actually choose whether they want, would want to add this or not. And also, if you notice, there are exclude there, there uh your characters are in different outfits where in the uh, if they are in the base so probably some exclusive outfits in the base that doesn't apply you know when they go out so those are the things and potentials that they can really expound on the base system
Yes. Okay, so to the last part, it's uh, this. This was just actually um, released earlier um, in their uh, launch. It's like a pre-launch video. In terms of the detail of the environment of the units, I love all the enhancements. It gives them more. Previously, um, to be honest, it, the units in the background looked a bit dull. It didn't really pop out in terms of the 3D look, but now the units have more detail in terms of their face, in terms of their outfit, even the environment has more details, has more structures in terms of the opponents as well. So again, all these enhancements visually are a very, very welcome add-on as we begin the game tomorrow. Um, all I could think of is, uh, again, skins. How will the skins look like? Because skins are really a big part of usually gacha games. So, again, I am excited for all of these features to come in. And I'm excited to, you know, play the game tomorrow. So, hopefully you guys were able to, you know, um, appreciate all the things the developers have been bringing to the table. And... Um, also, I hope you agree to the potential add-ons that, you know, that uh, the devs can add to the current content or upgrades that they have had. So what do you think of the potential upgrades that I mentioned? Are they good? Do you have any suggestions? So please put them down in the comment section and we shall discuss. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.